I'm gonna show you how to replace a governor spring, a throttle spring, and your choke on a GX160 Honda engine. Keep watching the video, I'll show you just how I do that. Hey, what's up guys? It's Jeff Lepard from doitallsealing.com. Today we're gonna to be changing a throttle spring, a governor spring, and the choke on my GX160 Honda engine. The springs have gone, so therefore when the engine um, is revving, there's no low idling, it's just idling very fast. I have no control over it. I have to change the governor spring that's responsible for doing that. But while I'm in there, I'm also gonna change the throttle spring. And of course the choke is busted on the uh, GX160, so I've got a new choke to put on. So we're just gonna go ahead and get started. Don't forget to leave a like if you like this video. So right now, the first thing I'm gonna do is just take off the gas tank. I'm gonna be doing that with a socket and um, actually a, with a wrench, a 10 millimeter wrench. And I'm just gonna lift that off so I have access to the springs. I'm also gonna be taking off the intake um, where the filter is, I need to remove that. So first thing, let's get this uh, gas tank at least out of the way, off to the side. There's two 10 millimeter screws and you have to uh, take those off. And they're pretty easy to come off. I'm gonna have to remove the intake now because there's a couple screws in the way, but this is uh, blocking. So let's get this off. There's the uh, air filter. There's the seal, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to get this off as well. It's uh, two, um, sorry, uh, three 10 millimeter bolts that you just have to remove. There's one. And you got two on the side here. This is also where the choke is busted you can see it's uh, no longer there the piece of it and if there's anything guys that you want to see me fix or repair don't forget to go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section and I'd be happy to uh, reply to you guys And that should come off just like so. Okay, so this is the actual governor spring that's gone. Uh, same thing with the, the bracket that's holding the governor spring in. That all has to be reattached. So I'm going to first take off the throttle assembly here. Actually, I'm just pull this bracket here. Just wanted to check that. To... Okay, let's make sure this comes off. bolts here here we go right over here there we go okay okay so this is free and of course there's still some attachment here you can see that's fine we just wanted to get uh, get that out of the way for now so we still want to get access to this here so I, it's the remaining bolt for the gas tank and you can see that's gonna come loose okay and of course there is gas in it so it's going to be uh, it's gonna be leaking gas just got to get this under the there we go there we go and that's out Okay, so I'm just gonna use some brake cleaner. I'm just gonna clean off the area. Uh, since it's exposed, I just uh, want it nice and clean and so I can um, also lubricate up the joints uh, with some WD-40 after. It's pretty dirty. 
Okay, so let's start off by changing the governor spring, this one right here. So uh, this is uh, brand new in the package. This is what it looks like. So I'm just going to take the old one off first. I've got a pair of needle nose. Um, the bar is already off, so I'm just going to careful it. Let's take this off. Okay, like that. And this is going to unhook here. And then that slides right out. Like so. I'm going to slide this in. Through the arm. And now we're going to hook this to the proper position here, like so. And this end, let's take the needle nose and it's going to go through this hole right here, like that. And this arm, we're going to push back in place. Like that. And there you have it. And that's uh, nice and tight. You can tell that's uh, that's working. Next, we're going to change the throttle spring. That's this cable right here. First, we're just going to unhook this. It's quite simple. Okay, like that. And this is going to come off here, and we're just going to hook that around, and that's done. Okay, so we're going to change the choke, that just pops right off, and you can see uh, that's broke, it's broke off right here, and we're just going to plop the new one, this part goes through here, and of course that's where it uh, sits, and just like so. And guys, uh, please don't forget to share this video, especially with someone that uh, you feel would get some value out of this and that would enjoy watching these videos. Thanks. Okay, so upon uh, checking the engine, it still wasn't working correctly. We had changed the governor spring and the throttle spring, but um, I didn't even actually notice that the governor butterfly is broken. This metal piece here. So here's a new one where the piece is still intact. And my broken one is right there where it's a piece of uh, metal is chewed out. So we've got to replace this. So we're just gonna go ahead and loosen this nut now. And it's very important when you do this, you have to reset the governor um, uh, butterfly because if you don't, the engine could start up and you could actually uh, over rev it. You could do damage to the engine. But uh, first, we're going to um, change it, and then we'll set the uh, we'll set the governor after. Okay, so we've uh, taken the throttle spring off, the uh, broken governor butterfly, and now we're just going to get the governor spring off as well, like so. So this is free. So we're going to put this through this guy. Now we're in business. Okay, so we're just going to attach this. We've got the governor arm attached. So we're just going to, this should just sit there. We're going to put the bolt and nut through without tightening it. The bolt will line up with the arm uh, body. Just gonna snug that by hand. Okay. Now we're going to attach the throttle spring and the governor spring. Governor spring. Like so. So to set this, we're gonna make sure that this is. Uh, clockwise in this position and you'll see that this is in the wide open position right now 
this has to be fully fully open so if the governor was open then you set that that would be incorrect so you have to make sure this is in the full open position and we're just going to double check that with the bolt here put some pressure on that and once uh once that is we're going to just tighten that Just keeping pressure to make sure that that is okay. There we have it. Okay, so I'm just going to take the throttle housing and uh, control arm off again. I just had that on just so I could uh, set the governor make sure that it was in the wide open position. So I'm just going to take that off briefly so that I can run my fuel hose down before putting the gas tank back on. Okay, we're going to seat the gas tank again. Like so. Okay, so we're just going to run the hose, fuel hose right underneath the governor arm into the uh, grommet there okay tuck that in okay we got the clamp on There we go. Okay, so we're going to put the throttle control arm housing and everything back on. Just make sure that all your springs are connected, you didn't pop any off, and then you're okay. Hand tighten. Okay, that's set. Reconnect our spark plug. We're going to tighten down the bolts for the gas tank on the other side. Just use a 10 millimeter wrench just to Snug tight that. I'm going to put the intake back together. So I'll just make sure the hose is uh, hooked up. Okay, that slides in. Got one more bolt on the gas tank, of course, to put. I just saw that. Okay, now we continue off. Screw the intake in.
the filter back on. and our filter cover. That's it, we're gonna fire up and see how it works. Okay, so the governor butterfly has been changed. The throttle uh, has been changed. Uh, sorry, the throttle spring, the governor spring has been changed and also the uh, choke lever has been changed. We've changed everything, we've put it back together, we've cleaned up everything. So hopefully everything works fine. I'm gonna fire it up and see how the engine runs if I actually have throttle control back again. So everything works. I've got my throttle control back. The engine's uh, now fixed. So just want to thank you for watching the video. And don't forget to check out our other videos of me fixing different uh, engines, things from doitallsealing.com. Take care, guys. Till the next video.